Hello, everybody. I am back. In case you guys didn't catch it, it's just me saying hello, everybody. I'm back in a much more energetic tone. Don't like it? Well, okay. <clears throat> if you guys remember, last episode we did a bunch of things. Did the thing at the place, and uh, we released. And in the end, we released the sequel to our old game alternate universe man eight mysticals called alternate universe man nine mysticals which was met with moderate responses <coughs> and we also got this guy a boost on the markets normalized again that that's kind of important As you can see now people are needing to go on vacation Oh, and I might have industrial sabotaged someone in the last episode. Because in a statement, the game development company Bungie has said that they have been victim of industrial sabotage. Unfortunately, development on their current project has been severely affected. Police are investigating. Okay, the Dream Vest by Vina was released. If you guys remember, that was something. Okay. Yeah, we got a five on it. Sure, we're so far still not even made past what we got before. Look at our history. We're still not even. Well, now we broke even, I feel right. Yeah, now we at the very least broke even. Not a good thing. You break even, you lose money. Yeah, if you guys look, our last hit was made two years ago. Oh, and yes, I am showing my mouse now. I don't know why it wasn't showing before. Let's see if we make a sequel to Professor Watt. Maybe. Yeah, PC is the exact same thing, so I'm not going to special simulator thing again. I want to just stick to sequels right now. So you can research a new topic thing. Terrible, 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 I guess. Yeah, let's go Wild West. Make a, I, I think we should make a Wild West game, actually. I'm going to go with that. No. Okay, why is this this way? Our post-release analysis of Alternate Universe Man 9 Mysticals is complete, and we got the following results. Story slash quest seems to be very important for this type of game, and... Adventure is okay for the PlayStation. Play system, sorry, not PlayStation. Please don't kill me, please. Please don't kill me, Sony. Too much of the Vena Oasis will be taken off the market. I don't know, what is the Oasis trying to reference? I don't, I don't see it. Dang it. You need to go on vacation? What next? Do you need to go on vacation? Well, do you? I said, do you need to go on vacation? Yes or no? I knew you did. Well, go on vacation. We'll see you back in a few weeks. Now. You're going to make a sequel. To... Vampire Hunter. We're going to make... Vampire Hunter 3. Shoot the stakes. Shoot the stake. It's not going to have an exclamation mark on it. Because I don't know. <coughs> Play system. Let's go. Engine crystal. Let's go. Begin. 
I'm gonna keep it at 3D graphics because I feel those are better. 2D graphics. Hmm. She should end this. Sorry, I'm just trying to expand. Okay, there we go. Sorry if that was a little annoying. <coughs> Action! Gameplay. Engine. Story and quest absolutely horrible. Cutscenes. We got it. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Hi, this is Jason Green from Gaming World. I got word that Game King Games is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Why, yes, I love the press. Many of our readers are curious about what decisions go into making a video game and how companies prioritize development areas. Can you tell us whether such a game would usually receive more focus on gameplay or on world design? Well, uh, let me just look at my hand real quick. I see that I've written gameplay is more important than world design on there, so more on gameplay. You're welcome for the time. Oh, and if you, oh, you can apparently bank up boosts. In a recent interview with Game King Games, we asked their upcoming vamp we discussed their upcoming vampire action game and asked company founder Josh Blank, a different game developer. Okay, I need to focus more on this. Let's try that again. <coughs> no, this is too deep. <coughs> In a recent interview with Game King Games LLC, we discussed their upcoming vampire slash action game and asked company founder Josh Blank how different development areas are prioritized. In the interview, Josh Blank said that gameplay is of particular importance for such a game, and it seems that other industry professionals agree with this. Every game development project has limited resources, so it's important to use the time most effectively. Hyping up a game. <coughs> Cut the dialogue and fill it up with AI and level design. We even have a level editor and better dialogues because we can fit that in. I <coughs> uh, already like the way this game looks. Look at 45, 59, and stop going down. <clears throat> the screen is way too small for this. Um, world design? No! Blast it down to the ground. We don't need any pillars of world design. We need pillars of graphics and sound. So you can't give it any rich thespian backstory for the vampires? Okay. I don't know. Let's just go with this game of awesomeness. Ah! Stop it. <coughs> Hate of this game keeps going down on my screen. I should be able to see everything. Oh, gee darn it. We just lost a bunch of score now because simulation games are popular. Oh, no, no, no. Fix the bug you put in there. That's more better. Best game technology wise, I like that. And people get a raise, and Rhonda Harper gets a raise in, in many games. Okay. Generate the game report, and you research um, mini games. Oh, first reviews came in. Shoot the steak! Eight. Great sequel. Good. Played it for days. Good. Good game. Okay, care to put in a nine? Bounce it. And try. Seven point five. Well, that's better than any other games we've had for the past while. So <clears throat> now I'd say is the perfect time to release a sequel to a simulation game. No, not Movie Maker PC. Pet Sim. 
I mean, now has got to be during the time of the game when color, at least. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what it'd be. We're gonna call it Pet Sim 2. Trying to think here, what's the perfect way to make it sound hip and happening with the people? <clears throat> no, 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 no. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. Uh. Darn it! No. <laughs> No, no. Focus on what it's supposed to be. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know. Crossbreed edition. You can crossbreed pets together to get like a dog cat thing or a or a or like a make some kind of interesting crossbreeds. I like that. I, I like that idea. Crossbreed time, or call it that. With an exclamation mark, because that's totally not cliche in any way. Just gonna have 2D graphics, though, unfortunately, because I don't think the game link could handle such graphics at that time. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not. But all the Game Boy games I've played. We're all Pokemon games. We're all in 2D. <coughs> well, I've played a few of the Mario game remakes for the Game Boy, but I've always been more of a DS guy. <coughs> I need to stop focusing on that. Actually, I forgot. Action and simulation games are built the exact same way. Because I don't know. Whoa! Okay, yes, we already know that. Huge ball of six there. Two months the mastery will be taken off the market. Well, boost it up! <coughs> Boss, it's way too hot in our office and the heat of certain impact your work. I've researched and found an air conditioner to be perfect for us. It costs 90000 Should we order it? Well, I could pay 90000 and make our employees happier, or I could say no and be a jerk and let them all boil to death. Why would I want to be a jerk? Of course I'm going to pay for an air conditioner. See, look at that. They're already working so much better. Oh, and that boost is... La See, that boost lasted twice as long. Look at how many research points we got. Stop. So annoying. Uh. Eh, we'll go with that. <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. I know Dream Vast is a reference to Dreamcast, but... Today, Vani has announced their much-anticipated successor to the popular Play System console. Play System 2 will have upgraded hardware to compete with the newer generation consoles such as the Dream Vast. Unlike the Dream Vast, the Play System 2 does not focus much on online play, but instead seems to focus on the strengths of the previous Play System. A solid upgraded controller including vibrated and fug vibration function, upgraded graphics, support for DVD titles, and even backwards compatibility with Play System 1 games. And it also does Blu-ray discs, right? Oh wait, no, that's still in the future. Sorry, I forgot. See, I'm a man from the future. I just traveled back in time to live through the game era. The other people don't know that. So don't tell them. Look at that! We would not have gotten that much if we got in the booth. Okay. Medium boothing. Let's hope that the market doesn't normalize. Okay. Since release, the Dreamvast from Vienna has been one of the fastest selling consoles in history, but lately it seems that the anticipation of the upcoming Play System 2 release is slowing down sales. 
If the play system 2 can hold up the hype when it's released, then Vina could be in deep trouble. Pretty sure they're gonna be in deep trouble considering I haven't heard of anything from them recently. I'll shoot the stakes off the market now. Okay. The G3 gaming convention. A medium thing. Nice moderate 184,148 people. A very small amount. You know. And now finish it up quickly. 97 and 95 because of that double boost we had. Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Look at all this stuff. I'm so happy to be knowing we can research all this now. Okay, um, would you start by researching? Basic physics, save to cloud, oh, Merc Merconoft. PC software juggernaut Merconoft has announced today that they will enter the game console market with their very own gaming console called the M-Box. You know, that name makes more sense than Xbox. Just saying, I mean, Microsoft, why not call it the M-Box? have this be called the Xbox instead. I don't know. First demonstrations have been impressive, but we will have to wait and see how it fares against the popular Dream Bass, as well as the recently announced and much anticipated Play System 2. The new console is set to debut in the coming months. Okay. Research. Mod support, because we're in the modding area, so... Very good. Okay, you're gonna be the low scoring. Okay, so it's gonna be averaging eights or nine. Good. You hit a ten. Eight point five. That's one point better than ours because it's a popular thing. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Generate the game report. I want to see the game report. And you can just sit around. Oh, the play system two has been released. Okay, time to update all the games from the play system to the play system 2 to make it more updated. <clears throat> My mistake. <clears throat> Bad. Uh, let's just focus on getting research points up. Wow. I'm gonna assume this really happened because this is based off the real thing of the thing. But the launch of the play system 2 has been a phenomenal success. Stores everywhere are out of stock as manufacturing can barely keep up. Fans have resorted to buying the console on internet auction sites for much as five times the normal price. So you mean they bought it on Feebay? Since we all know it wouldn't be called eBay, it'd be called Feebay here. No, it actually would be called eBay because eBay is Feebay in the real world. While well, Vani has managed to have most of the successful launch in history, sales of the Vena Dreamcast have plummeted. I almost feel bad for I'd almost feel bad for them, except I don't feel bad for them. Okay, go on vacation. <coughs> hmm. Merkonoft has announced the delay of their new gaming console, Mbox. The new release date is later next year. Rumor has it that the incredible success of the Play System 2 launch has prompted Merkonoff to delay their own debut. Can't blame them. There's, it's actually a smart move. Whoa, don't fire him. Okay, let's go all the way back to the beginning of the Play System. When are we first released for the Play System? We've been already updated. Professor What 2, we're gonna call it Professor What 3. <laughs> Professor What 3. Remix of the first. No. Can you say no? We're gonna call it. Uh, I know I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, but I need to call it Professor What 2. Professor What 3. I'm gonna call it. 
Knight of the Professor. Or just Prof for short. N Knight of the Professor. Prof for short. Congratulations, me, for coming up with such a creative name. I'm totally not ripping off anything called Day of the Doctor. Oh, by the way, guys, if you guys like sci-fi stuff, you'll like Doctor Who, but not supported by him. Jump into the licensing of Play System 2. Woohoo! Yeah! Bang. Pow. Actually, there's fireworks in the distance because I just bought a place with some two dev license. I wonder if we could. I wonder if there's any new graphics we should add to like it. Oh, yes, we do. Why, yes, we do. Ha 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 ha. Should make it better because people like seeing better stuff. Whoa! A lot of engine stuff here suddenly. New gameplay, new dialogue, new level design. What? More level design. AI specialties? We are so far behind, guys. I say it's time we just... I say... We skip the entirety of the third generation engine and just go straight to the fourth generation engine. Because this is revolutionary. Like, a revolutionary thing in all game engine stuff. I mean, just look at all this stuff. I'm going to spare no expense. Ah. Right. <clears throat> now call it... Game King Game... Game King Games Engine. Okay. Game King Engine. Oh, we could call it G Cash Shine for G4, and it'll make us money. That's gonna cost us money, if anything. Nah, we're gonna call it that. Look at all this stuff. Mark Stormwise gonna. Boost it up! If you found that grating, I am sorry I assaulted your eardrums. For I do not hate you. This is one of the longest games we've had going for a while, I feel. Oh, here it goes off the market. Look at this. Yep, we skipped the third generation engine because if we did it earlier, it would have been worthy of being called the third generation engine, but we're going to call it the fourth generation engine just because we skipped one. We skipped a step, I feel. You know how you like... You know how like... You know, like when you were, when you guys were younger, and, or some of you guys are probably younger, you probably got to like the third or fourth s stair on a staircase and just jumped down. We're kind of doing that, except we're going up. We're jumping two steps up. Nope, no point in waiting. Let's get started. Let's just get it started right now. Should start porting some of our PC games over to the play system, I feel. Uh, it be awesome. It'll be well received. We're gonna get tons of money. And so much more corporate stuff that only corporate executives like. Sure, what? Three. Knight of the Professor. Should the up be capital? Nah, the up shouldn't be capitalized. Ow, man. My neck. <clears throat> I don't know why my neck is hurting, but I don't really care. Since when is text based still a thing? I mean, right? <laughs> Who ever heard of text based? 
ridiculous. Take it out of my sight. I can't stand to look at the fact that tech space is still being used. I'm gonna assume engine isn't important. Yeah. There we go. Now. Hey, there should be multiplayer, I feel. So people can do, like, the companion or something like that. That'll make it better. Anyway. Character progression. A good story always has development for the characters. <coughs> or has something happen in the end. Wow, three bugs added in one thing. That is shocking. I need to stop moving to the top. Now. AI is the opposite of important. Dialogue tree, Easter eggs, minigames, level editor, because why not? And. Can't afford better AI or AI companions. Well, we can, but it's not gonna work. Ooh. Boost, we need to get this thing going. Get the hype train going! Not going to make train sounds, because everyone does that. I'm gonna be different. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um. <clears throat> World design, graphics, sound is not important. We should make this. Graphics are important. We'll make it like that. We have more focus on world design if we need to. I don't think we need to actually. Uh, well, we'll keep it at mono sound and just kick that up a bit. Okay. Okay. Let's get going here. Look at this. This is the best design game we've ever had. Like, this is shockingly good. Design-wise. And technology-wise. We broke 100 on all of them. Look. 999,000. Might have just run it up to a million. Ooh. This could give us some fans. Hi, boss of. Oh. Hi, boss of. Lucas Day, what do you. Oh, it's a friend of yours, I see. Okay. <clears throat> really? Is it a special kind of friend? Because. Hi, boss. A friend of mine is greatly involved in an organization which aims to get more women into technology. They're looking for a sponsor, and I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to. For us, would you like to help out? You're paying ninety thousand, but we get more people, and get more women into the gaming, techno or in technology situation in general, which gets more people in technology altogether. Who give us more fans? For the mere cost, only ninety thousand. Sponsor it. Just shy of 160, but we got a new record for the best game ever. So. We want to research now. Surround sound it is. Now, you. Generate the game. Okay. You generate the game reports. We can get that last... Oh, first use came out. Good. Oh my goodness, guys! Eights and nines all across the board! Oh, most perfect! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Woo! 8.75, I like that. I like that in a game. What I like in a game is how good they are at what they do. Uh, game King Games LLC has, recent re has recently released a sequel to their game Professor What 2. The newest game in the series titled Professor What 3, Night of the Professor, was met with great responses. 
Critics praised that Professor Y3 had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. Oh, come on, you guys like it because of the fact it's Professor What and the Play System 2. Admit it. Admit it. You guys need to admit it. Oh, we've got word that Game King Games LLC has recently sponsored a highly praised move to get more women into technology roles. Josh Blank, the CEO at Game King Games LLC, said, We would love to see more women in the game industry. Guys, I swear I said more, but, um... Well, not guys, but... Everyone, I swear I said more. The media is cutting stuff out and trying to brainwash you into thinking I just said one word as a way to encourage people into things. Blame the media! I blame the media. Do you blame the media? I blame the media, so you all should too. <laughs> if you're not a fan of Game King Games LLC, now then chances are you will be after playing their latest hit, Professor What 3, Night of the Professor. A perfect example on how dialogues in a game can be so much more thrilling than in a movie or a book. Ooh. Feel the burn, Hollywood? Or publishers? At every stage, I felt like I, had I really had choices and was really driving the story. Simply one of the best games I've ever played. Julian Rickstock, Gamer Pro. Oh, and look at how many units we sold already. The fifth week. Well, you got everything now for the engine, and don't work for my pen, but I already know that the engine was not important. So yeah, I knew it. Hmm. <laughs> Completed achievements. Awesome. You know, I say it's because we had that new engine we used. Wow, G3 already? I feel like we've grown past that now. Like, make it more better and bigger and whoa. Okay. Thought it was just one million, but we'll go with the medium booth for now still. Well, <coughs> we need to slowly progress stuff to the play system too. Gotta go with the movement, guys, or else you're gonna get lost behind. Or else you're gonna get left behind. If we make this for the PC with our new engine. That was not made for the play. I realized that was not good for the play system. So, let's just uh, get started with uh, alternate universe. I'm just gonna call it alternate universe man three. I'm gonna call it alternate universe man three exclamation. Now we used. Because exclamations more than enough. I say we just call it exclamation universe man period. Universe man three period. And we can use 3D graphics. Better than we could have before. Oh and look, see, this is building well, the boost is building up to a second thing. Hmm. I'm going to go and say that game. And, uh, engine and gameplay aren't important either way. Okay. So let's go to here. <coughs> eh, I guess we'll go there, but you can Oh, the M box has been released. Can we put stuff on the play system too and the M box? I'd like to. Oh, dialogues are important. Uh, level design and AI aren't. Hmm. Let's 
tight Easter eggs in there instead. <coughs> Sorry. I think it's time I start wrapping this episode up soon. I mean... The last episodes have been going on for so long, though it's... I don't know. Whoa! Into the 200,000s mark. Didn't make them in the top 100 booths, but I'm sure we will if we get a large booth next year. All this hype. 55... 50... 60 and rising. Wow. Okay. I'm not going to read this, but yeah, I will share some stuff. Graphic or level design? So, graphics are important. I'm going to go on a limb and go for both of them being important. Because I used world design before. <coughs> I'm not saying graphics are important, so... So, I don't care. I don't care if I'm working myself to the bone. Used your boost! It's your boost, man. Okay, Professor Watt 3 Night of the Professor is off the market, so that's good. Means this game won't be overshadowed by it if it fails. It'll still be overshadowed if it fails, but... Dang it, one bug! It's gonna bite us rare later, I feel. I don't care, I'm willing to pay you extra as long as you focus on your review scheme. Please be high! Either have high ratings, or have the writers be too high to realize that, they're ga that the game is terrible. Okay, good game. It's gonna be 8, so that's why it can go up to strict 7s. 6.75. Alright, what'd I do wrong? I actually need the game report this time because I'm still not any closer to where I was before. What about multi-platform games? Care to answer that, Lucas Day? Oh, dance. Let's go with that. Now, <clears throat> have PCs updated recently? No, they haven't. Okay, just wanted to know. I know artificial intelligence isn't important. Tell me something I don't know! Okay, you guys can go on vacation. I don't care about that. We're gaining fans, that's a good thing. Right. Nope, I say it's time we finish this off with... Vampire Hunter 4. To release it for the Play System 2. Uh, we're gonna keep releasing stuff to the Play System 2 that were originally for the Play System until we can get the... Uh, multi-platform thing later. And we're gonna do Vampire Hunter 4. Not vamp. Uh, I'm just gonna go Vampire Hunter 4. I'm not gonna try to make the name any different. I tried that before. It failed miserably. So, Vampire Hunter 4. Garlic and steaks.
Okay, no, I'm not gonna call it Vampire Hunter 4. I'm gonna call it Vampires. Garlic and steaks. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it that. <clears throat> Game King Engine G4. Guys, there's something to learn from this generation engine. Engines are awesome. Of course, every fourth gen thing is usually awesome. Again, the PlayStation 4, the Xbox 4, um, something that isn't really coming to my head at the moment, but whatever. Uh, Oh, I know, that automatically comes. V V1 of 2D graphics and text-based stuff normally happens. Okay, we're going to have this. Have 3D vampires. And it's going to be awesome, guys. Hmm. Okay, well... cutscenes as usual. Now let's try all we can put on here. No. Still have limits, apparently. Ooh. Hmm. I don't have video playback then. Save game multiplayer saves a cloud and mod support because people love modding games. At least they will once they try this. Look at the hype already. Oh, I mean, look at the hype already. And the market's normalized again. That's good, I guess. I mean, the game's gonna become a lot less popular. Yeah, okay. Dialogue's not important. Level design and AI, very important. <coughs> Why would you need mini games? Why not? Right? Why not have mini games? That's all I gotta say to people who say, why have minigames? Why not? U Alternate Universe Man 3, period, is now off the market. <laughs> ah, we got so much stuff there. Stereo sound with a soundtrack. Yeah, that's how it's done. Oh yeah, it it's awesome, guys. It is awesome. Have it. Let's just keep it at open world. Why not? <coughs> uh oh. You need to go on vacation. Well, the game's almost finished. You can go on vacation afterwards. So can you. <coughs> Whoa! What the? Get that technology! So high tech and awesome, it's ridiculous. New combo and good management. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Increase the salary. Okay. Special training available. Oh! Oh my! We can boost these guys! Garlic and steaks. It's gonna be awesome, right? Very good. It's very good. Love it. I love your rating. Uh, focus and engine served the game very well. Your focus on eights are very good. Played it for days. I'm glad you did. Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep one game. Hey, turn the game report just to get extra research points. Farm them to the ground. Hmm. Voiceover for dialogues and oh, it's simple. Up. Oh.
Mm. In a sobering announcement, Vena has today confirmed the discontinuation of the Dreamcast at Dreamvast. Vena's president said that while many companies will still deliver games for the platform, the company will no longer produce new units in the future. Well, rest in peace, Dreamvast. You were like the Dreamcast, almost to the point where it was almost a ripoff of it. Except the Dreamcast didn't happen here in this world. Vena fans worldwide are disappointed as a beloved part of gaming console history is coming to an end. If I cared, I would be crying. Oh! Okay, good. It might be responses. I don't care. Let's find some contract work and get this stuff done. We just need more research points to be... Why are we not getting any research points from that? Let's just get this stuff done, I guess. I already know this stuff, so it's not necessary. Let's just close up this thing with uh, some of this. So, guys, we finished this up with over $6 million in our accounts and we're here finishing up contract work so it's about time to wrap up the day i guess well guys i will see you all next time and no we're not gonna do g3 because we're we're past that anyway uh well guys if you like this and want to see more leave a like comment subscribe and i shall see you all next time I don't know why I'm talking like this. Goodbye, guys.